So why is everybody moving over to Parler and what is it and should I move? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your account using that, an app on your phone. And I'm also going to show you the desktop view and we'll just take a little tour and see what it looks like and see how familiar it might feel to you. There are some things about it that look like Twitter. There are some things that kind of feel like Facebook. Right now, a lot of conservative people have been moving over, but it's not just a conservative platform. It's a platform that's not censored. So don't feel like you can't move over there if you're not, quote, conservative. We want everybody to be there. I do anyway. I want everybody. I don't want to be on any platform that only talks, um, has one view. That's just my opinion. I think, I, I believe in the freedom for all of us to have our own opinion and voice. So. Let's go over there and see what it looks like and you can check it out and see if this is something for you. In this video, we're going to sign up for Parler using the phone. I'll show you how to get the app and what's going, what the screens are going to look like. I'm not doing it live because I've already signed up. Then I'm going to take you to my desktop and show you the live view. I do use mine on desktop and I did sign up on my phone, but I tend to use my desktop because I'm home working all day and it just uh, is more accessible for me. But this is what the Parler icon or logo looks like and this is how you spell it it's parlor p-a-r-l-e-r -E and you're going to go into your app store and go ahead and sign up for it um, get you know loaded onto your phone and then open it up so you're that's what it looks like it's got that um, little p emblem there now when you first open it you're going to have to set up your account and you get to pick your favorite color. It's kind of like Facebook in that sense where you get to pick a theme color and everything um, in your program when you pick it, when you go into your account, will have a theme of that color. So you can choose whichever one you want. I'm sure you can go back and change it if you change your mind. Then you're going to put in all your personal information to set up your account so just follow the steps everything's pretty user friendly and once you do that then i would recommend going in and looking at the guidelines the community guidelines and the terms of service just so you know what the platform is about and the reason i say that is because you might see something in there that you don't agree with and once you agree you can get kicked out if you don't um, follow the terms. And that's with anything you sign up for. You should be aware of what you're signing up for. You're going to verify your account. This little code's gonna pop up and then you have to verify it. And this is important. They wanna make sure you're not a robot, so that's why this is done. And then finally, you're going to have a screen um, where you can go ahead and set up your profile. Now on your phone, it's gonna look something like this, but now we're going to move over to my desktop so that you can get a, a better view of it. Now, if you go into the top left corner or into your profile on your phone over here to the left, it's the same thing. It's a little circle on the left, but you can go ahead and set up your profile account. So if you open that up there, I haven't put a picture in mine yet just to show you how new it is. Um, it is a 1200 by 400 PX, the size I do, oh, I have a follower. Look at that. Um, <laughs> I just set this up like a couple days ago, but you can go ahead and hit this little picture here to put your photo just like on Facebook and just like on Facebook or Twitter, you can put a, a little um, picture here as well. And like I said, it's a 1200 by 400 and Canva, you can go to Canva and, and upload a picture or you can just try to upload one of yours and see if it fits. Now, why is everybody moving over? Um, there is a surge of people moving over because this is uh, an uncensored platform that you can come to. Now, right now, a lot of conservative people are moving over, but I'll be honest with you, I want to see more than just one group of people move over. I would like to see different people move over. What I like about this, it's not censored. I don't think it's right for anybody's account to be shut down. Even if I disagree with what somebody says, I think they have a right to voice what they have to say. So right now it's very conservative, but if you're not conservative, don't feel like you can't sign up because you can, because we all have our opinion. We all believe in different things and we need to be able to share that. And that's what this is about. If you want to see your feed, you go over here and hit the little house over here. Um, and this is where you can this is where it's similar again. I, I say it's very similar to Twitter because the way it looks, the feed. If you watch as I go down in my feed, to me, this looks very similar to Twitter. 
Um, it, it, and it's got a lot of um, comments and opinions and things like that. I haven't found a lot of people sharing, you know, what they're eating <laughs> for, for lunch yet. Um, it's different from Twitter because you can put a thousand characters and in Twitter you can only put 280. For me, I think it looks a lot like Facebook because of the way it's posted. But see, then you have the Twitter stuff down here. So it's, it's a little bit of each, but right now, like I said, it's very conservative with a lot of the posts. Now, as soon as you come in, it's going to say, hey, do you want to follow these people? These are people who are huge. And if you notice, they have badges next to their name. And in my next video... I'm going to tell you what all those badges mean. Now, all of these people have a gold badge and it does mean something, but I'm going to share with you what all these different badges mean because there's a lot of different ones. I actually was going to share it here because a lot of these are gold and um, red, but there's actually a lot of other badges and you can earn badges and you can get your channel verified. And that's what that is. Um, and it's just to keep people from it's just to keep the robots from coming in and taking over and posting things mechanically and automatically and like crazy. So that's uh, going to be a really neat video because like I said, there's more than just these two badges that you see now on the right. So when you want to post, um, you, you just post here just like you would any other time. You do have notifications just like on Twitter and on Facebook and you have messaging. Now, I have not started using the messaging yet, but once you start getting your friends to join and you start building up your own community, then you can have that messaging. And I'm sure that there'll be an app for that on your phone as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. It's kind of exciting that we have these new platforms that we can go to. Remember when Instagram was new? A lot of people tend to not want, they tend to not want to use something new. But in this case, it sat for a while, Parlor did, and now a lot of people are coming to it. And I think it's exciting. I think we need that competition in this um, type of business in, in our world. I think there needs to be other huge platforms and not just one. There needs to be competition, and that's what keeps everybody accountable, in my opinion. So I'm excited. You are welcome to follow me. I am Vanessa DeBerlay. Just look me up. You can see my picture here. And then I'll have some more followers. So right now I have one. See how exciting? It's just like when you, um, for some of you, it's just like when you've started your first YouTube account or your first Facebook account and you got your first follower. It's exciting. So, all right, again, enjoy if, um, and, and um, let me know what you think. And if you're going to join and you want to be followed, go ahead and put your name down below and, and we'll follow each other and build up each other's accounts. All right. Have a good one. And I will see you on the next video where we will go over what those badges mean, because there are several of them. There's like five or six, and I will go over each one and tell you exactly what they mean and how you can get your account verified.